What's up, fight fans? This is Kirk DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Errol Spence Jr. <clears throat> Errol Spence Jr., as you guys can see, is reportedly in Spain, in Ibiza, Spain, which him and his girlfriend, significant other, fiance, wife, whatever, they are there having a good time on holiday as you guys can see, and this stops the rumor that he has neurological damage. You wanna know how I know? Let's look, okay. Get this, studies have shown that there is a significant decrease in an individual's partial pressure in oxygen while flying which is of particular concern after a brain injury. When pressure changes leads to decreased oxygen in the brain injury survivor, it can alter or worsen the effects of the brain injury March 3rd, 2022. Okay, so this is facts of what you don't do with if you have a brain injury. So, all the shit about, oh, he has brain damage and he was he was injured from the car wreck from four fucking years ago. Yes, that goes too and it does not apply. Okay? Remember, guys, we already know this won't fly because he's already fought two other guys. He's fought Ugas and he fought Danny Garcia. He could have fought two easier opponents than that. Ugas was the WBA current welterweight champion. He took the belt off Manny Pacquiao, okay, retired him. Danny Garcia is a former welterweight, former light welterweight champion. And he went right into him too. He fought him first. He didn't want to tune up. He said he was ready with fake dentures and teeth and all. He had it all. He wanted to fight. He showed you what he was about. In fact, he showed you that he could box, and he showed you he was just as good as a boxer than he was a banger. Counterpunch. So this here is showing us the actions, the things that he's doing. He's responding like a person that needs a break, that needs to get away from the states, that needs to get away from the internet, that needs to get away from the constant pressure on everything that's going around him for people asking him about his first loss and looking and reaching for fucking excuses that are not there. Okay, so Errol Spence is doing just fine, people. I mean, if you really care how Errol Spence is really doing, you know what I mean? Because I think a lot of people are trying to justify the reason Terrence Crawford tapped that ass. Okay, he's just fine. He's having a great time with a fine, beautiful woman of his, not mine, bars. And there is no signs of brain damage. Now, is he drinking out there and all that? I don't know, it's none of my business. However, it doesn't show it from the video or from the photo, the, the, the image that we see, no. But that's normally what you do out there. And if he wanted to do that, he could definitely do that. Why wouldn't he? He ain't driving nowhere, I, don't, I hope not. You know what I mean? If anything, he's on a resort somewhere laid up, having a good time, relaxing, loving life. He's a millionaire, just made a fat ass check. What else would he be doing? I mean, that's exactly what he would be doing if he won, honestly. You know what I mean? He would be doing the same thing. Hey, I'm going to this trip regardless of what it is. And I'm glad he didn't let the loss get the best of him. If he took the flight or the trip because he lost, hey, more power to him, that means he needed it. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of this breakthrough image revealing that Errol Spence is A-OK. -okay. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.